Hi everyone, thank you for joining us today for CCK Live Under 5. Today we're discussing how do you know if your VA disability rating is permanent in nature. My name is Maura Black, I'm a managing attorney here at Chisholm Chisholm and Kilpatrick, and this is a topic that is pretty popular, so hopefully today's information is helpful to you all. VA deems a disability permanent when it is reasonably certain, based on medical evidence, that the level of impairment associated with the disability will continue for the rest of the veteran's life. For this reason, VA is allowed to take age into account when determining permanency status of a disability, and this is why it might be more difficult for younger veterans to achieve permanent status with their disability ratings. When VA decides that a veteran's service-connected condition is permanent in nature, it will no longer require the veteran to attend re-examinations for that condition. Section 3.327 of Title 38 of the Code of Federal Regulations describes these exemptions from future examinations. They apply when the condition at issue is static or unchanging, if the condition has persisted without material improvement for a period of five years or more, if the disability from disease is permanent in character and of such nature that there is no likelihood for improvement, if the veteran is over 55 years of age, although some exceptions do apply at that age parameter, if the rating you received is the prescribed minimum rating for the disability at issue, or where a combined disability evaluation would not be affected if future examinations would result in a reduced evaluation for one or more conditions. So how do you know if your rating is permanent? Some steps that you can take. The first one we would recommend, take a look at the decision letter that VA sent you when granting you benefits. On some rating decisions, there's a permanent and total box or field that will be checked if your 100% rated disability or your combined 100% rating is permanent. On other decisions, you may see language such as finding that you are eligible for Chapter 35 DEA or CHAMP VA benefits, or if the rating decision says that no future examinations are warranted or scheduled, both of those things can indicate permanence and VA's belief that your disability or your rating is permanent in nature. Just take note that the exact language that VA uses can vary from decision to decision or among different re VA regional offices. If your letter from VA says that future examinations have been scheduled, then that is a cue that your disability rating is not considered to be permanent by the VA. Some of you may be wondering whether your TDIU rating can be permanent. TDIU is not always a permanent rating. So if you have TDIU, that is not necessarily going to mean that VA considers your combined disability rating to be permanent. However, VA can only sever your TDIU status if you have been found to be capable of substantially gainful employment. We have plenty of resources on our blog and other videos that talk about TDIU, so if this applies to you, pl please feel free to review those resources. Some of you may also be wondering, if you do not have a permanent rating, could you request one? If you have a 100% total disability rating and you believe that it's unlikely to improve, you can request a permanent rating. We do have a video that touches on this topic. I believe the video is called, Can VA Take Away My 100% P&T Status or Permanent and Total Status? Please review those materials because those might be helpful if you want to go into the process of requesting for your combined disability evaluation to be made permanent by the VA. As always, please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and view our other videos, some of which we mentioned here today to learn more about this topic and other veterans law related content. Thank you for watching today.